Welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Mia or Mia K and this is going to be a survival guide to radiology school how to prepare to, for radiology school so before we start off this video I want to say congratulations on getting into your rad tech program that is so amazing cheers for you and you have made a, a great decision so for radiology school or to prep or how to prepare, there is no way to prepare for radiology school. Just to be 100% honest, there is no way. Just because every school is ran differently and every program have different things that they start off. For example, my school, classroom work, and then towards the end, you do clinicals. Some um, colleges, they have it where you do clinicals and classroom work at the same time. So it just kind of really depends on your program. So each program is ran differently. So you can't really prepare for that because you don't know how your program's gonna operate. You didn't know what the classes was gonna be or what it was gonna entail until a week before. And so that's where it makes it kind of challenging because you don't know exactly what you're getting into until maybe like a week before. So if I had to tell incoming freshmen, say for instance, they were in Dallas College, I would just let them know that you're gonna have classes, this classroom, and then you'll have clinical towards the end. I feel like the main thing that you can prepare for radiology school is just to be mentally prepared. Not to scare any of you guys, but radiology school, and I have a degree in health science, so I, I went to a university, got my degree, and then I went to radiology school. Radiology school was one of the most hardest things I ever did in my life. <laughs> and I say it with a smile because it was, it was hard. It was hard. It was the most mentally challenged, physically challenged. Like, this program is going to change your life. It's either in a good way or bad way. Like it's, it's really going to change your life. But you just have to remember why you started. Remember your why. And I would say just to constantly remember your why. Because it's going to be times where you want to give up. Times where you're staying up late studying. Times where you don't understand any, any of the material. It's going to be times like that. But you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's just, y'all, it sucks. It is. Have a good positive mindset. You don't want to be a negative Nancy, a Debbie Downer. You don't want to be any of those people. Give yourself grace because this program is so difficult. It's so challenging that you're going to have to give yourself grace. Like this is something that you haven't done before, material that you haven't learned before. So if you're not getting it or if you're not passing or if your other classmates are making higher grades and you're struggling, that is okay. That is normal. To really get your study and mentally prepared. I feel like I mentioned this in one of my other videos, my ART video. I'll have that plugged at the end or link in my bio. But I use this app called Structure. And so I'll repost it in here on this side of just the Structure app of what it is. I love Structure so much. Like, if they could sponsor me, that would be great. But I really love Structure. It really helped me stay organized. And so I recommend that, especially, especially if you're in school and you're just trying to make sure you have all your stuff due and you just come up with a good study routine that works for you. Um, and if you haven't been in school for a while, maybe a little difficult of knowing or figuring out what works best for you. Or even because this is something new, what worked for you in English or in math I may not work with you and for you for radiology just because it's different and you have to know. But what worked best for me was for procedures, I will write everything down on a whiteboard. So for class, I will make sure I have all my notes on the iPad. I use my iPad for everything. Notes already prepared for lumbar spine, already have this in my notes so i have all of this already before lecture now i would personally if i was you i want to be successful i will go ahead and review 
all of the material before class so if she upload your professor upload the powerpoints i would just go ahead and review all the powerpoints beforehand so you kind of know of what's going on on your ipad i use good notes that's the app i use you also can record on good notes or I just record it on my phone. So on good notes, I'm able to take notes and I'm not like necessarily writing everything verbatim because I already have all the notes on my iPad. I use the pen and write like different things that the professors say, or if they say something multiple times, I write that on the side. So I know that, you know, that's important. Or if it's something that will be like, oh, it's on the test, like I'll highlight it or star it. So I have that information. Once I have my notes, I'm done with lecture, I'll go and study. So whenever I go study, I'm using the same handy dandy iPad. I'm using this and then I'm at the whiteboard writing my procedure stuff down. Now, I'm saying procedures because it's some, a lot of people, not a lot, but a few people have asked me how to study for procedures and we're doing AP spine. So they have the central ray and then it also have like your SID and how the patient's supposed to be positioned. So I have all that. So whenever I'm writing like my AP lumbar, I'll have AP lumbar at the top of my board and I'll write down everything that's important. So the ray is gonna be one and a half inches above my iliac crest. SID, which is 40. I'm gonna have that is supine, that my patient says pine, that I need the knees to be bent. And the reason why you need the knees to be bent to be bent is to reduce their lower daughter curvature and then I will have what type of breathing expiration and then I will also just write down all the eval criteria so on ours it have all the eval criteria right here and so I will write that on the whiteboard as well so I'll write that I need to see T11 through T12 transverse process and my spinous process is midline that I have proper collimation, no motion, no rotation. So I will write all that information down on a whiteboard. Once I'm done writing all that information down, saying you do all spines, so I'll do T, L, and C. I will have all that down, write the criteria, everything, and then I will go ahead and quiz myself. With anatomy, I also use my lovely iPad. On my iPad, I had a section that I basically just had blank images and then I would just like label them and like you can white it out on your iPad and then kind of erase it just to make sure you got it right or it's this one app called x-ray anatomy I'll insert that here so I use that as well and that helped me with my anatomy biology school is really is no honestly way to prepare like you can't read a book on it um it just because you don't know how your school is starting and what area they're starting with like some schools start with chest first we started with upper extremity so we was doing fingers and elbow and stuff like that so say for instance you're like okay i got my book i'm gonna review all this chest anatomy you come to first day of class y'all doing upper extremity or y'all doing lower extremity it's like now you don't know all of that stuff and so i feel like the best way you can do is just go in there with a positive attitude just ready to really just learn and um just figure out what study styles work for you and always 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 touch your material that you went over at least three times a week so you need to constantly review yourself. Recording a lecture, listen to it in the car. If you're reading the notes before class, read it after class and then read it another day. Like you need to constantly touch the information so it can stick in your brain. A lot of people always ask if they should work in radiology school. I do not recommend working because it it's a lot. <laughs> like I did work in radiology school i was a tech aide or a psr i worked the front desk at an imaging center so i was able to work they worked around my schedule so that worked for me but it was difficult because it was days that i had to tell my manager i can't come into work or i'm like i just can't i don't have the mental capacity today like i really can't so if you have the luxury of not working i would not work but there have been multiple people that worked or people that you know work nights or different things like you know your situation no one else know your situation but you so you just kind of make your judgment off of that but 
I mean, if you have to work, go ahead. But if you have a choice not to, I wouldn't. But I mean, the two, I say two years, like 12 or like 23 months, something like that. Those months is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So, I mean, if you can go that long without money or somebody funding your way, go ahead. It's, it's totally up to you. But unfortunately there's no physical way to prepare for radiology school just remember to always review your material before class and after class read your textbook also make study groups and just reach out to your professors if you're struggling or if you're kind of confused always just reach out because they will appreciate you reaching out and making those you know those strides to be successful then you're struggling and not saying anything at all just remember to have a positive attitude this is something that you have never experienced before this is going to be a challenge for you it is going to be difficult but just remember the reason why you started and just remember you will see the light at the end of the tunnel it is there it, it may look a little gray it may look like i can't see it's a little dark but you just have to stay positive so i just want to say congratulations on getting into radiology school i hope this video was helpful and until next time bye y'all